this morning, this shocking video. Florida Gators basketball star Keontae Johnson suddenly collapsing on the court. Sporting arenas, often heralded as stages of triumph, occasionally transform into arenas of unexpected tragedy. Imagine the paradox. Fans gathered to celebrate athleticism and skill only to bear witness to the frailty of human life. These events, rare but powerful, do more than just mark a somber note in sports history. They bind communities in shared grief and serve as poignant reminders of our shared vulnerabilities. As we delve into the lives of some of these athletes, we'll be reminded of the impermanence of life and the profound impact such moments have on the very fabric of fandom. Join us as we have a look at 15 famous athletes who died in front of their fans. Number 1. Soccer's Beacon of Promise, Miklos Ferrer Soccer, or football as it's known in many parts of the world, has witnessed its fair share of heart-wrenching moments, but few were as universally felt as the passing of Miklos Ferrer, a Hungarian striker with a future uh, that seemed luminous. Playing for the Portuguese club, in 2004 he would be a symbol of youthful exuberance. Every touch, goal, and cheer from the crowd had cemented his place as a rising star. It would be a fateful night in January where he was on the field, and he entered as a substitute, eager to make a great impact. As the game unfurled, he was handed a yellow card for wasting time, and in the immediate aftermath he offered a smile, a playful gesture that seemed so characteristic of him. Moments later, though, he would collapse onto the pitch. The stadium, which had been echoing with the sounds of chants and drumbeats, was enveloped in an eerie silence. Despite the best efforts of medics, he could not be revived. Cardiac arrest, at the age of 24, had cut short a life and career that was full of promise. The world of soccer would mourn deeply. Fans would create memorials while fellow players paid tribute both on and off the field. His passing was not only a loss in the football community, but a stark reminder of the fragility of life. It emphasized the need for rigorous health checks in the sporting world and further underscored the unpredictable nature of life itself. As the years would roll on and the football world celebrates new champions and milestones, the memory of Miklos remains a gentle reminder to cherish every moment both on and off the pitch. Number 2. Football's Heart-Stopping Moment Mark Vivian Foy On June 26th of 2003 in the heart of Lyon, the world of football stood still. The Confederations Cup semifinal between Cameroon and Colombia would be unfolding, and 73 minutes into the game, the unimaginable took place. Mark Vivian Foy, a midfielder known for his tenacity and passion, suddenly collapsed on the pitch, away from any ongoing action. Players, fans, and officials alike would watch in disbelief, the joy and excitement now being replaced with shock and sorrow. Foy was only 28 years old at the time and was a well-respected figure in the football community, having played for top clubs like Manchester City and Lyon. He was a beacon of athleticism and talent, but on that fateful day, the rigors of sport that he loved would betray him. Despite the best efforts by medical professionals both on and off the pitch, he tragically passed away with later investigations attributing his death to hypertrophic cardiomyopathy, a hereditary condition leading to heart malfunction. The moment would be haunting. The stadium, traditionally echoing with cheers and chants, was now enveloped in a stunned silence. Players on the field were visibly distraught, some with hands on their heads, others kneeling in grief. It would be a scene that starkly contrasted the festive atmosphere of football match that typically brings. It was a somber reminder of the unpredictability of life, even for those who seemed to be at their physical peak. The world mourned the loss of a football star, tributes poured in, not only from fans but from fellow players, coaches, and organizations, and his untimely demise had led to a greater scrutiny of medical evaluations for professional athletes. It emphasized the need for more stringent health checks in order to ensure such tragedies are prevented in the future. Mark Vivian Foy's memory lives on, not only in the annals of football history, but in the hearts of many who witnessed that unforgettable day. While the sport has seen its fair share of highs and lows, Foy's passing remains a poignant reminder of the fragility of life, urging us all to cherish every moment and prioritize the well-being of athletes that we so dearly admire. Number 3. Wrestling's Unforgettable Tragedy, Owen Hart 
Professional wrestling, with its captivating storylines and theatrical flair, has long held audiences spellbound. But amidst the choreographed moves and scripted outcomes, there exist genuine risks. It would be May 23rd of 1999 when the world was jarringly reminded of the very real dangers of this entertainment sport. Owen Hart, a wrestler revered for his skill and athleticism, met with a tragic accident that shocked the core of the wrestling community and its ardent fans. The setting would be the Over the Edge pay-per-view event in Kansas City's Kemper Arena. Hart, adopting his Blue Blazer superhero persona, was to make a dramatic superhero-like entrance from the arena's rafters. Suspended by a harness, the plan was for Hart to be lowered just above the ring, and then accidentally release himself, falling flat for comedic effect. However, the stunt went terribly awry. The quick release mechanism on his harness triggered prematurely, causing him to plummet nearly 80 feet into the ring below. The sheer horror of the moment broadcast live is indescribable. Emergency medical personnel would rush to his aid, and the event was momentarily paused, but the grim reality soon set in. Owen Hart, only 34 years old, had tragically lost his life. The wrestling world and its fans were plunged into grief, grappling with a loss that was both sudden and entirely unexpected. Hart, who was part of the illustrious Hart wrestling dynasty, was not only a gifted athlete, he was a beloved figure known for his humor, genuine kindness, both in and out of the ring. Tributes from fellow wrestlers, friends, and fans would flood in, all echoing the common sentiment, the world had lost a true gem. Owen Hart's tragic passing spurred debates and discussion about the safety measures in professional wrestling. Lawsuits would be filed, and the incident catalyzed a re-evaluation of the lengths to which entertainment should go at the risk of its performers. Today, the memory of Owen Hart serves as a somber reminder within the wrestling community of the very real risks associated with the sport, urging greater caution and care in every spectacle they create for the world. Number 4. Boxing's Fateful Nights, Duke Ku Kim Boxing, a sport as ancient as civilization itself, has always been a game of grit, endurance, and determination. But for all of its glory, the brutal nature of the sport has at times led to heart-wrenching outcomes. One of the most tragic episodes in the annals of boxing revolves around the South Korean lightweight Duke Koo Kim. November of 1982, the world's eyes were set on Caesars Palace in Las Vegas, Nevada, where Kim was set to face Ray Boom Boom Mancini for the WBA lightweight title. Both fighters entered the ring with dreams and hopes, unaware of the impending tragedy ahead. What transpired over the next 14 rounds would be a battle of wills, with both figures giving everything they had. The relentless bout saw Kim displaying extraordinary resilience and determination, taking powerful punches but continuing to advance. By the 14th round, the intense back-and-forth brawl had taken its toll. A final barrage from Mancini sent Kim crashing to the canvas. Though he bravely attempted to rise, the damage had been done. Kim lost consciousness and was immediately rushed to the hospital, but never woke up. Five days later, he would pass away, his death attributed to brain injuries that were sustained during the bout. Number 5. Racing's Lost Champions, Ayrton Senna The world of Formula One racing with its high speeds and roaring engines embodies both the pinnacle of human engineering and the sheer audacity of its drivers. But on May the 1st of 1994, the San Marino Grand Prix in Italy became the backdrop for one of the sport's most sorrowful chapters, when it lost perhaps its brightest star, Ayrton Senna. From the very beginning of his career, Senna would be a force to be reckoned with. The Brazilian driver, with his unparalleled skills and determination, had already claimed three world championships. His sheer passion for the sport, combined with his relentless pursuit of victory, had earned him a place amongst racing's all-time greats. However, that fateful day was to be his last race. As Senna would power his Williams car around the course on the seventh lap, tragedy would strike. It veered off track, crashing into a concrete barrier at around 233 kilometers per hour. The impact would be devastating. As the world watched on in horror, it quickly became evident that the accident was gravely serious. Despite the frantic efforts of the medical team, the indomitable spirit of the Senna was extinguished. The loss was immeasurable, fans from around the globe would mourn, and the racing community was in shock. Brazil declared three days of national mourning. 
Senna wasn't only a racing champion, he was also a national hero and an inspiration to millions. Beyond his prowess on the racetrack, he was deeply committed to bettering the lives of Brazil's less fortunate, a legacy that lives on through the Senna Institute. Number 6. Cricket's Unexpected Darkness – Philip Hughes Cricket is often dubbed the gentleman's game and carries with it an aura of grace, strategy, and camaraderie. Yet in late November of 2014, the cricketing world was starkly reminded that even in such a seemingly non-violent sport, tragedy can lurk around every corner. The devastating incident involving the young and talented Australian batsman Philip Hughes shook the very foundation of the sport. Hughes, with his free-spirited style of play and infectious smile, was a promising star on the international cricketing horizon. In November of 2014, while playing a domestic match at Sydney Cricket Ground, Hughes would face a bouncer, a short-pitched ball that was aimed to rise steeply towards the batsman. Attempting to play a shot, he would be struck on the side of his neck, missing the protection of his helmet. This impact led to vertebral artery dissection, a rare and severe injury. In the immediate aftermath, as Hughes collapsed onto the pitch, the gravity of the situation became clear. Players, officials, and spectators stood in shock silence, praying for a miracle. But two days later, on November 27th, Philip Hughes, just three days shy of his 26th birthday, would tragically pass away. The grief was palpable. From local clubs to the highest echelons of international cricket, players, fans, and officials would mourn the loss of a bright talent. Tributes would pour in from across the globe, with hashtag put out your bats becoming a poignant symbol of the cricketing fraternity's collective sorrow. Number 7. Basketball's Heart-Wrenching Loss – Reggie Lewis In the realm of basketball, where towering athletes gracefully glide through the court with electrifying dunks and nimble footwork, the last thing that one would expect was an abrupt, tragic curtain fall. Yet in 1993, the basketball world stood still grappling with the shocking and premature passing of Reggie Lewis, a rising star in the NBA. The Boston Celtics captain was more than just a basketball player. With his agility, leadership, and on-court vision, Lewis was quickly establishing himself as one of the league's elite. He was not only the future of the storied Celtics franchise, but also a beacon of hope for the city of Boston. But as fate would have it, at the age of 27, the peak of his prowess, Reggie's heart would give way. During an off-season practice, Lewis would suddenly collapse. Efforts to revive him had proved to be unsuccessful, and one of basketball's brightest talents was snuffed out in an instant. The cause would be a heart defect, previously undetected, that left the community searching for answers and grappling with sheer unpredictability of life. Reggie's loss had resonated deeply within the basketball community and beyond. Fans, teammates, and competitors mourned together, sharing stories, memories, and the overwhelming sense of what could have been. The city of Boston, already enriched with a rich sports legacy, had added Reggie's name to its pantheon of legends, not just for his skills, but for the heart and soul that he poured into every game. Number 8. Hockey's Unthinkable Farewell – Alexei Sharepanov Hockey, with its frenetic pace, ice-cold atmosphere, and blaring arena sounds, carries an undeniable aura of energy and vitality. Yet in October of 2008, a silence louder than any slap shot reverberated through the universe as it grappled with the unexpected loss of Alexei Sharepanov. A prodigious talent from Russia, he had the world at his skates, and with swift moves, impeccable control, and a keen sense for the net, he was often heralded as the future superstar of Russian hockey. Drafted by the New York Rangers, his potential was universally acknowledged, However, his journey would take a tragic turn during a Continental Hockey League game in his homeland. As the game unfolded, everything seemed to be normal, with players battling for the puck and goalies making spectacular saves. Yet, as the third period was drawing to a close, tragedy would descend. Sharepanov, just 19 years old, had suddenly collapsed on the bench. Despite the desperate efforts of medical staff and teammates, he could not be revived. The news of his passing due to a heart condition sent shockwaves throughout the hockey community. Grief and disbelief would spread like wildfire. Fellow players, coaches, fans, and the broader sports community would all try to come to terms with the unthinkable. How could a young man in the prime of his life and career be taken away so abruptly? Arenas worldwide would hold moments of silence, honoring the memory of a player whose career 
was just about to ascend to legendary status. Number 9. Football Silent Killers – Antonio Puerta Football, with its pulsating energy and moments that oscillate between despair and ecstasy, often feels like a reflection of life itself. Yet the sport would be jolted to a grim standstill in August of 2007, when Antonio Puerta suffered a heart-wrenching fate. He was a gifted midfielder with a knack for crafting magical moments on the pitch and was no stranger to football fanatics. His career was on a promising trajectory and he was quickly making a name for himself not only in Spain but also across the footballing world. But during a match playing the game that he loved so well, tragedy would loom. In the midst of play with thousands cheering and the game in full swing, he suddenly collapsed. It was a sight that had sent chills down the spines of all those who were watching. While he momentarily regained consciousness and would be assisted off the field, his condition deteriorated in the dressing room. Just days later, the world would come to grips with the somber news Antonio Puerta had passed away, a victim of multiple organ failure stemming from prolonged cardiac arrest. The sorrow would be profound. The gleaming stadium, which had witnessed countless cheers and triumphant roars, would now be blanketed in an incredible silence. Fans, teammates, and rivals alike would mourn the premature departure of a footballer who had so much more to offer. Number 10. Boxing's Fatal Blows – Frankie Campbell Boxing, with its raw display of power and determination, often walks a thin line between glory and peril. Each punch thrown has the potential for triumph or tragedy, and in August of 1930, in the bustling city of San Francisco, this somber reality played out in the ring with the devastating loss of Frankie Campbell. Campbell, an adept fighter with dreams of climbing the boxing ladder, squared off against the formidable Max Bauer in what many had assumed would be a routine match. The two pugilists, with gloves raised and eyes focused, began their dance of jabs, hooks, and uppercuts. The crowd, engrossed in the spectacle, cheered and jeered with each landed punch. But as the rounds would make progress, the momentum took a dire turn. A particularly vicious combination from Bauer sent Campbell crashing to the canvas. Though he bravely rose to continue the fight, the damage would be evident. Later, a devastating right from Bauer would prove to be fatal, causing severe internal injuries to Campbell. He was then rushed to the hospital, but the following day he succumbed to his injuries. The sporting community would grapple with a cocktail of emotions, shock, sorrow, and introspection, leaving many to wonder if the thrill of the fight was worth a potential cost. The tragic event wasn't only a turning point in Bauer's life, who was reportedly never the same aggressive fighter after that, but also for the boxing community at large. Regulations, safety protocols, and medical oversight all underwent necessary scrutiny and evolution in an attempt to prevent such future incidents. Yet Frankie Campbell's story remains a poignant chapter in the annals of boxing, a tale that underscores the very real risks that fighters undertake every day that they step into the ring. Their unwavering spirit, chasing dreams of glory and honor, is tinged with the ever-present shadow of danger. Campbell's legacy serves as a somber reminder and a clarion call for the sport to always prioritize the well-being of its athletes. In the grand tapestry of boxing history, amidst tales of champions and epic showdowns, the tale of Frankie Campbell stands as a testament to the sheer unpredictability and vulnerability inherent in the sport. Number 11. Racing's Final Lap – Dale Earnhardt In the world of motorsports, where roaring engines, screeching tires, and adrenaline-fueled speeds define every race, few names resonate as powerfully as Dale Earnhardt. A titan of the track, Earnhardt's name was synonymous with fearless racing, unparalleled skill, and a magnetic charisma, but in February of 2001, during the Daytona 500, a race that epitomizes the spirit of NASCAR, the world would face one of its darkest moments. The Daytona 500 that year was, in many ways, a race like any other. Fans filled up the stands, the air was thick with anticipation, and the unmistakable scent of gasoline. Earnhardt, known as the Intimidator for his aggressive driving style, was in his element battling for position in the race's final laps. But as the checkered flag neared, a devastating sequence of events would unfold. Locked in a tight formation with other cars, Earnhardt's iconic number 3 Chevrolet made contact with another vehicle. What followed would be a heart-stopping moment as Earnhardt's car veered off, colliding head-on with a concrete barrier. The impact at nearly 160 miles per hour would turn out to be catastrophic. 
The race ended, but the gravity of the situation became apparent. Efforts to rescue Earnhardt were frantic, but it was too late. The legend had taken his final lap. Grief was immeasurable. Fans, fellow racers, and even those who were unfamiliar with NASCAR had felt the weight of the loss. Earnhardt was not only a racer, he embodied the soul of the sport, and his passing left an irreplaceable void. Number 12. Basketball's Unseen Threat – Hank Gathers In the realm of basketball, where athleticism and dynamism take center stage, the sudden passing of a player in his prime can send shockwaves through the community. Hank Gathers was one such player, a beacon of talent whose light was tragically dimmed. Playing for Loyola Marymount University, Gathers was a force on the court, renowned for his scoring prowess and rebounding tenacity. But in March of 1990, during a collegiate game, the unthinkable would occur. After an electrifying slam dunk, Gathers collapsed on the hardwood. The bustling arena, moments ago live with cheers, was now plunged into a horrified silence. Efforts to revive him would prove to be futile. Gathers had succumbed to a heart disorder. His passing was not only a blow to college basketball, but also a reminder of the unseen threats that athletes face, even in their prime. Number 13. Cycling's Uphill Struggle – Tom Simpson Cycling, with its grueling ascents and breakneck descents, is a testament to human endurance. But during the 1967 Tour de France, the sporting world would be reminded of its limits. Tom Simpson, a British cycling legend, would be battling for position up an iconic mountain on the course. This mountain, known for its challenging climb, was taking its toll, and as spectators watched on, Simpson, exhausted and disoriented, wobbled and fell from his bike. Despite all attempts to revive him, the mountain had claimed its victim. The cause would be a lethal combination of heat, exhaustion, and alcohol, amplified by the stimulants that he had taken. Simpson's tragic ending served as a wake-up call for cycling, leading to more stringent drug testing and an increased focus on rider safety. In the shadow of the mountain, the memory of Tom Simpson's uphill struggle endures, a solemn reminder of the razor's edge between triumph and tragedy in sports. Number 14. Athletics' Mysterious End Florence Griffith Joyner In the pantheon of track and field, few have shined as bright as Florence Griffith Joyner, often fondly referred to as Flojo. With her iconic one-leg tracksuits and blazing speed, she captivated audiences and shattered records, becoming a symbol of athletic excellence in the 1980s. However, the world would be left stunned in 98 when news broke of her untimely passing at the age of 38. Found unresponsive in her home, the cause was cited as an epileptic seizure, but the suddenness of her death would spark rumors and speculation. Some would point fingers at performance-enhancing drugs, given the era's shadow of doping suspicions, though no such evidence was ever substantiated. As the whispers would continue, the definitive truth behind her passing remained elusive, and today, while the mystery around her death persists, what's undeniable is her lasting impact on athletics, reminding us of a comet that shone brightly, but left the world all too soon. Number 15. Baseball's Lone Tragedy – Ray Chapman Baseball is America's pastime and is often viewed through the lens of nostalgia and tradition. Yet there's a somber note in its history, one involving Ray Chapman of the Cleveland Indians. In 1920, during a game against the New York Yankees, Chapman faced off against pitcher Carl Mays. Mays delivered, and the ball hurtled towards Chapman, striking him on the head. Helmets were not in use then, and so the blow became fatal. Chapman became the first and remains the only Major League Baseball player to have died from an on-field incident. His death had profound implications which led to changes in ball design and eventually paved the way for the introduction of batting helmets. As fans reminisce about baseball's rich history, Ray Chapman's tragic tale serves as a reminder of the game's evolution and the inherent risks that once shadowed America's beloved sport.